Greetings. All right, so good day, good morning. So um, this is going to be a daily tarot vibe reading. And I don't know why some of my, sometimes my Thursdays, they feel like Fridays. It's so weird. I don't know why. I almost forgot what day of the week it was. So happy Thursday, happy Jupiter day. All right, let's get it. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your divine guidance, divine wisdom, divine truth, and clarity. What do you wish to speak to the collective today? Okay. There could be, I mean, this could be just due to the holidays. I'm recording around the holidays, but if you happen to watch this um, at a later time where it's not it's no longer the holidays, obviously, then this could still um, apply to you if it's meant, you know, but I'm getting this energy of old, okay, some type of old energy coming around, someone, um, this to me, because as soon as I pulled these cards, I heard baby don't go, so I don't know, that this king of cups, this knight of pentacles, knight of swords, it, it tells me that for some of you guys are going to be dealing with some old energy returning and it doesn't have to be romantically you know um but some of you guys it could be people that's coming in town um some of you guys it is people that are it will be pleasant to hear from and for some it it's also some people that might have been kind of waiting for this divine opportune moment to, to come back around and for others of you it's going to be some pesky energy too with this knight of swords at the end of the day, how you respond, how you react, you know, that's really up to you. But, yeah, I do see that. And it, it could be from a situation where someone has left you, left your life, or you've left them. Um, some of you guys might have walked away from something. It just wasn't enough. I'm just getting like a past situation where something was not enough. Or, ooh, for someone specifically... There could be something with a money situation, like someone left due to, um, it could have been like a, I heard love don't cost a thing. So like somebody could have used money as their strategy to keep a person in their life. And for others of you, it could just be, um, family and friends. It could be something with money issues or money matters. Um, Somebody could have moved away from a small town, moved away from um, the mountains, city life. I just heard, yeah, Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. Some of you guys know, and I feel like between you and Divine Spirit, like Divine Spirit has been talking to you about this situation, this very thing. Spirit is talking to you about this, okay? Um, there was maybe a bad ending or an unwanted end, painful end, or the last straw that led someone to move past this energy, whether it was you or someone else doing this. But this looks like something revisiting. I would check the intentions and motives of this person with the Seven of Swords being here, or this person could be plotting on how to approach the situation with the Two of Wands, and at the bottom of that is the Justice, how to maybe correct things, how to make things right. And for others of you, they feel like maybe there was some injustice that they need to address or speak on. Whether this person feels wronged or they feel like they've wronged you, you kind of have to place it where it resonates and where it fits, okay? I'm gonna pull one more and I'm gonna leave it at that because four pinnacles. Yeah, this is somebody that's unwilling to let something go. It, it also could be unwilling to let the situation go, let you go. This person could be very codependent or a little manipulative or also could be that this person may, this could be a situation where someone owes you money or there's they have beef with you over some money or something like that or you have beef with them over some money. Um, I'm just getting a lot of energies. I don't like picking up stuff like this, but it is what it is. Like I have to honor what I'm getting. So whomever this may be for, again, how you respond to it is really up to you, whether you keep your cool, you, you know, you don't allow this to 
get to you if this is something that might be triggering or if it's just simply something of a positive nature you're still questioning okay what's this person's intentions you know I wouldn't get emotionally attached to the situation because it might help you to see this a little bit clearer, a little bit better, or to, you don't have to respond or do anything right away either. So much love to you as always. Peace.